Now, I know of very few players in the history of the NFL where the league changed the rules because one guy was too good at one thing. And eliminating a receiver on a play-by-play basis is what Mel Blunt did. I know that Mel Blunt was listed at something like 6'3", 205. I think that was a lie. I think he played the position probably at 6'3", 215, 220. Bigger than their middle linebacker, Jack Lambert. Certainly bigger than Jack Ham. In 1975, Mel Blunt led the league in interceptions and became the first cornerback to be named Defensive Player of the Year. For 14 seasons, he was an offense-crushing combination of raw talent and nasty temperament. One of the things that I always wanted to do was let people know that this is my territory. If you come in here, you're going to have to pay. It was my good fortune or bad fortune to face that bunch twice a year. Lucky, lucky me. Second down and 11. There was a particular play on a Monday night game. Oh, and Bob Tuffy cannot hold on. And then I don't remember anything. Let's look at it again. The defensive coverage sandwiches Bob Trumpy. Wore contact lenses, and he knocked one of my contact lenses off. And I look around a little bit, and I, geez, I've been blinded. I didn't remember the play until we saw it on tape, uh, but I still carry the scar. We'd go into the game thinking that we could get the ball to our wide receivers. And after the game, we watched the tape, and our wide receiver on Mel Blunt's side would be in the concession stand. I mean, that's how far he shoved him. Everybody complained about what Pittsburgh was doing because Mel Blunt was doing it so well. And that's why the league had to come up with the Mel Blunt rule. You know, you get five yards, you can get one chuck, and then you got to let him alone. Because seriously, it was like we were playing with 10 guys on offense. Even after the Mel Blunt rule forced NFL defenses into using more zone coverage, Mel Blunt's presence continued to force offenses to throw away from his side of the field. People just were not going over there. And I don't know if you can pay anybody a higher compliment. Still, Pittsburgh's king-sized cover man found the ball and dominated games, helping the Steelers to victory in four Super Bowls. is back deep, and he winds up and throws, intercepted by Blood at the 20. They had a receiver-stuffing cornerback who would also tackle. They can eliminate one half of the field, basically. He was that strong, he was that good at what he did. 